Hello and welcome to my channel Pharmacy in Depth where we will talk about pharmacy related topics in detail. Today we will talk about different routes of drug administration into the body. So let's start the video. So there are various routes by which a drug is administered into a human body. Firstly, we take the drug from all the pores of our body which includes mouth, nose, eyes, ears, vagina, rectum, urethra. Then there is parenteral route of administration in which the drug is directly injected into the blood streams. And then there is topical route of administration in which we apply the drug on the topical surface. We will see all these routes in detail in this video. So the first is oral route of drug administration in which we take the drug from mouth which passes through stomach into the intestine. It is most convenient and easy to take and self medication is possible. Usually tablets, capsules, syrups, elixirs, emulsions, effervescent powders are given by this route but it has some disadvantages like it undergoes first pass metabolism, gastric irritant drugs cannot be given by this route, drugs which get degraded in acidic pH in the stomach cannot be given by this route and a drug cannot be given by this route to unconscious patients, vomiting patients and in emergency situations. Next is sublingual route of administration. Sublingual is a Latin term which means under the tongue. So in this route, a drug is placed under the tongue. The rate of absorption of drug is faster with this route as compared to oral route because the area under the tongue is supplied with a bed of rich capillaries which provide a high surface area for absorption of the drug. There is no first pass metabolism and sublingual tablets, strips, drops and sprays are usually given by this route. Next is buccal route in which the drug is placed between the gum and the inner lining of the cheek. This area is also richly supplied with blood vessels hence faster absorption is there and there is no first pass metabolism in this route also. But it may irritate open sores in the mouth. Extended release tablets cannot be given by this route and it is inconvenient for the patient to keep the drug at the same site. Next is rectal route of administration. This route is useful for patients with gastrointestinal motility problem like dysphagia or ileus which interfere with the absorption of drug. Drug is given by this route if the drug is degraded by acid in the stomach and to elderly and infants who are unable to swallow the drug orally so this route is preferred and there is no impact of food or gastric emptying on the drug absorption rate and this route also bypasses first pass metabolism. But this route has some limitations like inconvenience and embarrassment erratic drug absorption and rectal irritation leading to ulceration and sometimes bleeding. Next is vaginal route of delivery. So a lot of gels, tablets, suppositories, vaginal rings and films are given by this route mainly for local infections and for contraceptions. Next is urethral route of administration in which the drug is administered via urethra mainly for local infections and for treatment of erectile dysfunctioning in males. Next is ophthalmic route of administration in which the drug is delivered to ocular tissues that means in the eyes for local infections. In this there is topical administration which includes eye creams, eye drops, eye ointments and eye gels. Then there are intravitreal injections which directly inject the drug into the vitreous humor of the eye. There is subconjunctival injection which inject the drug into the subconjunctival space of eye. And then there is subretinal injection which directly delivers the drug to the retinal surface of eye for treatment of diseases like EMT and diabetic retinopathy. Next is intranasal route of administration in which the drug is administered via the nasal cavity. It is used for local actions like nasal decongestant and anti-allergic actions. It is sometimes also used for nose to brain delivery like for migraine treatment. The rate of absorption is quick because of highly vascularized area. There is no first pass metabolism and it is easy to administer. But it has some limitations like the dose is limited due to small area and the nasal cavity diseases may lead to impaired drug absorptions. The first nasal spray is a nasal decongestant, the second one is for anti-allergy and the third one Tosimra is for nose to brain delivery for treatment of migraine. Next is inhalation route of administration in which the drug is delivered to the lungs via mouth. The rate of absorption is quick because of large surface area of alveoli and it is used for local deliveries with no side effects. It is mainly used for bronchodilators and asthmatics drugs but it has limitations like it is irritant to the airways and it is costly. It is costly because it requires certain devices like nebulizer which volatilizes the drug which is then inhaled by the patient or emitted dose inhaler in which the drug is filled along with the propellant under pressure 
when the pressure is released it is sprayed and inhaled by the patient next is ot fluid of administration in which the drug is instilled into the outer ear usually for moistening the impacted cerumen which is the wax or to treat ear infections next is parenteral route of administration in which the drug is directly injected into the blood streams using injections there is no first pass metabolism 100% bioavailability is there as no absorption step is there because the drug is directly into the blood stream but it is invasive and painful technique self medication is not possible you have to depend on someone to give the drug to you and it is a costly route of administration depending upon the site of delivery these injections can be intramuscular which delivers the drug into the muscles and most of the vaccines are given by this route im second is subcutaneous which delivers the drug into the subcutaneous tissue third is intravenous which delivers the drug into the veins which is most common and intradermal which delivers the drug into the dermal space and as you can see in the image these injections are given at different angles also the first injection remdesivir injection is intravenous injection triamcinolone acetate is intramuscular injection third one is insulin which is given subcutaneously and the fourth one is intradermal injection next is topical route of administration in which the drug is directly applied on the surface of skin it also includes application of drug to any mucous surface like eyes nose ear lungs and colons it is usually meant for local effect but sometime also for systemic effects for example in case of transdermal patches and it is easy to apply but it has some limitations like the onset of action is slow only limited number of drugs are given by this route and the rate of absorption is dependent on the skin condition topical route includes creams ointments gels and the last one fentanyl is a transdermal patch which is for systemic delivery so guys this was all about different routes of drug administration into the body a total of 12 routes are explained in this video in detail thanks for watching the video i really hope you liked it and if you did like it share it and subscribe to my channel